Hey what's up guys Tanmay of a simple snippets back with another video tutorial on combinational circuits so in this video tutorial we'll understand the full adder combinational circuit now if you have missed the previous video tutorial wherein we discussed the half adder you can check out that video in this playlist itself because that is somewhat similar to this combinational circuit now combinational circuits essentially are different combinations of logic gates which are arranged in such a way that they perform a particular task or depict a particular expression now we've also solved boolean expressions and simplified them i also derived the logic circuits so these combinational circuits are predefined to achieve certain task now if you don't know boolean expression solving and simplification or if you don't have any idea about logic gates you can check out the videos from this playlist itself wherein we've discussed the different logic gates and also saw their expressions so with that being said let's get started now full adder is a combinational arithmetic circuit that adds three numbers and produces a sum bit and a carry bit as the output now the only difference between a full adder and half adder is that the half adder can add two bits at a time but a full adder can add three bits at a time also there is difference between the logic diagram and expression as well so what you can see on the screen is the logic diagram for a full adder and what we'll do is we'll first try to derive the sum and carry expressions and then we'll val validate that with the truth table as shown so let me just explain you the truth table now the truth table is for binary addition of three numbers now we've also discussed binary addition in a different video so i'll link that in this description of this video as well so let's take first case the addition of three zeros would give us zero sum and zero carry in in second case we have 1 as the input at C so the sum is going to be 1 but there is no carry generated again for the third case it is the same wherein B is 1 and A and C are 0 so the sum is going to be 1 and carry is 0 now in the third case you can see B and C are 1 and A is 0 so in this case the sum is 0 and carry is 1 so just to give you an example 0 1 1 so when you are performing binary addition you know 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 and 1 plus 1 is going to give you 0 as a sum and 1 is going to get carried forward so that is depicted by these two columns sum and carry and hence sum is 0 and carry is 1 for the next case we have a as 1 and rest are 0 so here again sum is going to be 1 and carry is 0 for the next case we have a as 1 b as 0 and c as 1 so again the same scenario wherein we have sum of 0 and carry as 1 so this is the case wherein we have 1 0 1 and we have to perform binary addition so 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is going to give you 0 and 1 is going to get carried so that is depicted over here similarly for the second last case we have a and b as 1 and 1 and c as 0 and for the last case we have all 1's so we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 is going to give you 0 and 1 is going to get carried and 0 plus 1 is going to give you 1 so that's why last case is different wherein we have sum as 1 and carry also as one so this was for the truth table of binary addition of three numbers so now let's see the expression which is derived from this logic circuit so for the sum we have a and b which is going as an input for the first xor gate so we have a and b so the output here is going to be a xor b which is again provided as an input to the next xor gate and we have c which is separately provided here as an input to the second xor gate so finally the output is going to be as a xor b xor c so sum is given by a xor b xor c now now let's see the expression for carry so for the first AND gate one input is directly coming from the output of XOR 1 so we have a XOR B as the first input to the first AND gate and C is provided separately so the output of the first AND gate is going to be a XOR B dot C which is basically binary multiplication for the second AND gate you can see that a and B are directly supplied as inputs so a and B and these curves are basically jumpers which means that these binary circuit lines do not intersect so the output of second AND gate is a dot B now the output of AND gate 1 and 2 are finally odd that is provided as an input to an OR gate so this will perform addition so we have a XOR B dot c or a dot b so this is the final expression for carry of a full adder circuit diagram i know it looks complex but all these eight cases can be derived from these two expressions so you can validate all these eight cases and we'll try to validate a few so with that being said let's start validating a few cases so for the first case 0 0 0 let's try to put these values in the sum expression so we have 0 xor 0 xor 0 which would ultimately give us 0 because that's how xor operation works so 0 xor 0 is going to give you 0 again xor with another 0 will give you 0 again for the carry parameter you can see the output 
of AND gate 1, we have a multiplication with C. So in this case, C is 0, A is 0 and B is 0. So XOR is going to give you 0 and multiplication also going to give you 0. So the first input is going to go 0 and for the second AND gate, we have 0 dot 0, which is again 0. That is the reason why the OR operation is also going to give you 0. So this was the first case. So we can validate that. Now moving to a case where we have one input as high or 1. So let's take second case. We have 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So in this case, the XOR operation is going to be 1 because 0 XOR 0 is going to give you 0 but taking an XOR between 0 and 1 is going to give you 1 because according to the XOR operation, the output of an XOR gate is always high for odd number of inputs that are high. So we get sum as 1 but for the carry, let's see what happens. We have 0, 0 and 1. So 0 XOR 0 is going to give you 0 and 0 dot 1 is going to give you 0 because AND operation between 0 and 1 is always going to give you 0. Similarly for the AND operation between A and B, we know A and B are 0. So it is again going to give you 0. Now the OR operation between 0 and 0 is finally going to give you 0. So that's why we have carry of 0. So now let's take a case wherein two inputs are high. So let's take the fourth case. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So we are looking at this case. So we have 0, 1, 1. Now in this case, 0 XOR 1 is going to give you 1, but 1 XOR 1 ultimately is going to give you 0 because the number of inputs that are high are even. So we know there are two inputs which are high and two is an even number. So the XOR operation between these is going to give you 0. So that's why the sum is 0. Now let's see for the carry operation or carry expression. So we have 0, 1, 1. So 0 XOR 1 is going to give you 1 and 1 dot 1 is going to give you 1 because in an AND operation, the output is high only when all the number of inputs are high. So your A XOR B is also 1 and C is also 1. Now let's see for the second AND gate which is A dot B. So A is 0 and B is 1. So 0 dot 1 is going to give you 0. But ultimately, these two inputs are going to an OR gate. So the output of an OR gate is high if even if one of the input is high and in this case one input is high so the output is going to be 1. So that's why you can see that there is a carry 1 but there is no sum or the sum is 0. So wherever there are going to be two inputs as high we can see that the sum is 0 but the carry is 1. So for this case and for this case. So now let's see the last case wherein all the three input variables are high that is 1 1 1. So I'm talking about this case. So we have 1 XOR 1 XOR 1. Now 1 XOR 1 is going to give you 0. 0 XOR 1 is ultimately going to give you 1. So that's why we have sum. Now let's see what we have for the carry. So we have 1 XOR 1 dot 1. So 1 XOR 1 is going to give you 0 and C is 1. So this is going to give you 0. So the output of first AND gate is 0. Now the output of second AND gate is 1 dot 1 which is again going to be 1 because a dot b is 1 only when both a and b are 1 and in this case it is true so finally the output of and gate 1 and 2 are going to or gate so we have 0 or 1 so 0 or 1 is going to give you 1 so finally we have carry as 1 as well so this is the last case which is little unique wherein all the three inputs are high and we have sum and carry both as 1 so hence we have proved that both these expressions for sum and carry holds true for all the eight different combinations of inputs and this is how the full adder works and this is the basic circuit diagram for a full adder. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the full adder combinational circuit. Now if you have any queries or comments, you can always put them in the comment section below. In the further tutorials, we will see more combinational circuits and if you have any requests, you can also put that in the comments as well. Also if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.